As I've been discussing in my blog for some time now, not quite sure how I was going to get 16 channels on this uh, Dusseldorf model, but I've got it. I've worked it out. This sheet shows you the channels I'm going to use for the demonstration. The first four are the normal ones for aeroplanes. It's a shame, but these things are always set up for aeroplanes and they're not for boats. It's a shame. I'm using channel 5 for servo 1, channel 10 for servo 2, 12 for 3, 13 for 5, and 16 for 4. So I'll just show you in the Tyrannus. This is the Tyrannus X9D+. Plus. Welcome to OpenTX. Switch warning. Yeah, worry, don't worry about all those. Right, we'll go into the menu and you'll see that Dusseldorf is number three. So I'm using Dusseldorf. I'm, I'm actually, the star says it's on Dusseldorf. This is the page where you set up the boat in the first place. I won't go through all that. This is the inputs. Now, I have no idea why you need inputs. You don't actually need them. You can ignore this because they don't actually do anything other than transfer the information into the mixer, which is useful. So forget, these are all the inputs I'm going to use. As I said, I'm using channels 10, 12, 13, and 16 is further down. So I'll go on to the mixer. This is the important one. I've left all those there, although I can change them. You'll see that channel five is now servo one. Then I'll scroll down. You'll see that channel 10 is servo two. Channel 12 is three. Channel 15 is, sorry, 13 is five. And channel 16 is four. Right, that's how the Tyrannus is going to see them through the mixer. The, without, the inputs do nothing, as I said, it's the mixer that does it all. And if you look in the mixer, you'll see, but the thing it will tell you is on the other one is the switch numbers, letters, which I've used, which if you go into the mixer, it'll also show you which switch does what. So leaving that Tyrannus aside, here's the setup. I decided in the end to use one X8R receiver from FreeSky. I'm using, I'm only using one channel on the eight channels of the, of the receiver because this receiver is capable of doing 16 channels on its own. You can either use, this cable here is an S-Bus, they call it the S-Bus. This can use 16 channels on its own, but I'm choosing to use the eight channels on the receiver and only eight channels from S-Bus. On the S-Bus, you'll see that I'm connected down the wire to a Y section of Y wire, which then goes to two S bus receivers. These are S bus decoders. It changes the signal from S bus into the PWM signal that we need, or whatever it's called. In this one, I've got two of the. This this one is I've programmed 13 through 16 channels. This one is 9 to 12, and you program them using a little device like this, which is a programmer. I'll just show you the program. I'll just connect the battery up to the program. I'll get it the right way around. Friday this week. And you'll see that the that's a, that's a channel setter. I've actually set these. You set the SBUS channels now. Instead of 1 to 4 like it shows, they're now 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 on the other one. So they do four channels each. Which gives me, with the 8 on the receiver, now 8 on SBUS, gives me the 16 channels I'm after. Right, just to show you they work, I've programmed, I'm using the ones as I showed you on the mixer, I'm using 16 and 13, I'm using 10 and 12, I think it was I used. So I'll now turn on the, I'll put some power to the receiver, get that the right way around, although it doesn't actually matter on the, this one, we've got three pin plug, because if you put it the wrong way around, all it does is put a negative line down the uh, down the signal line, which doesn't really hurt it. It's the other one I did wrong. And as you'll see later, I fried one. Right, so now the you can see that the receivers are all on. Everything's now working. The S bus is live. That's all coming down this one cable, you must remember. So I've only got one servo actually connected to the receiver, nothing else, and a battery. And now I'll just show you, I've programmed the switches. I've, I've done it so that I've got the four top switches programmed for SBUS. And I've got that, sorry, for the servos and that one. I've got one of the rotating knobs also programmed to show you you can program anything through the SBUS. So if I now operate the servos, you'll see down the row of servos there. That one's gone right to the end. 
middle central setting. So that's a full moving servo set in the middle. Same with this switch here, the other one over there moves. And I can go to the channel. He works. Go to this one. He works. Go to the slider knob just to prove these work as well. And you'll see that I can get a proportional movement on that servo as far as I like. So I can now program all 16 as I can show you through the empty channels there plus my empty channels there. I've now got 16 channels as I wanted. Just one last thing before I go. If anyone can help me here, I'll just turn this off. Because I telemetry lock. I fried, unfortunately fried one of my X8Rs. And if anyone can help me to try and source where I can find a 3.3 volt uh, voltage regulator, there it is there, I can replace it and get this one back to life again because they're quite expensive. And I'll just show you, last to finish is my where I'll be testing the boats at the end, outside my window, which I'm very lucky to have. And thank my glamorous assistant for taking the video. Thank you.